cars are not fueled by water, they will probably never be fueled by water. So here's an update on Project Mini-Me. I did get some more O-rings and put five neutral plates in here but the unit didn't work so instead of having five or four neutral plates we're still gonna hold with three neutral plates but I've made it to where we have either a positive or negative on both sides and the center shall be the opposite. So we have a spot to hook a wire here, a wire here, and a wire here. So it'll be a double cell. This one is going to go in the truck. Should be able to get some nice production out of it. And before I used this drinking bottle, a very crude hookup, but this fell apart. As you can see, it fell apart. Not a trace of anything left on there. Because I just used glue sticks. So we're going to throw this away. What I have now. We have a little water in these bottles just to hold them up because the wind's going to blow them over. Here we have an average drinking bottle. Much thicker plastic than the uh, water bottle. If you're not familiar with this, you can get this at uh, almost any store selling Asian goods. Any Asian market should have something like this. The plastic. Pretty firm. I would use JB Weld. And I'm going to install more of these. And then I also found this bottle. This bottle is going to be for my motorcycle because everything's going to be visible on the motorcycle and I want to look as good as possible so this bottle is from a is a bottle of uh, Lucas gas treatment I picked this bottle just I picked this out just because of the bottle good thick firm plastic very firm very th just thick enough so what we're going to do basically we're going to insert the hose connector about there for the bottom another one here for the gas to come out this one will be the feed going into the bottom the gas will come out to here and then the line going to the engine will be here I'm not going to do it here because right here the plastic is the thinnest so the plastic is a bit is quite a bit thicker right here so that's where we'll, we'll drill one hole here one hole here and one hole here at the locations where the plastic is the thickest why don't I drill the hole down here at the bottom well we're going to use this as a reservoir for the orange sediment that builds up which I now know that orange sediment is uh, iron oxide or rust 
so the iron oxide sediment can deposit in here and not in here and then I can just empty this out from time to time when I see that it's filled up first we'll rough these holes up a little bit along the outside something the epoxy to stick to. To make sure that your epoxy sets good, you should always heat it up a little. So before we apply the epoxy, we will first mix it together, then heat it up a little, so that the chemical reaction works good. Then we'll apply it. Very good, very hot. Make sure we get some on the inside as best as possible. Now we just have to wait for that to set. And we'll even give it a little dab of some white paint so it looks good when we're done so we can get some of this excess cleaned up okay here we have our new and improved dry cell this time we have two negative plates one positive plate and we have three neutral plates in between each one. So we have a total of nine plates. We have our bottle finished. The water coming in. Water coming in. Water and gas going out. And we have the gas coming out here and here is our output. <laughs>